Well, the city of Montgomery, Alabama, looking to tear down what it considers blighted, rundown homes. Seems to sound okay, but now that plan is coming under fire. Critics calling the move eminent domain abuse through the back door. Jonathan Seri is live in Atlanta, part of our continuing series, It's Your Land. So, Jonathan, most cities have blight ordinances. Uh, what makes this case in Montgomery so uh, controversial? Hi, Jenna. It's the location. These dozens of homes that the city's tearing down are along Montgomery's Civil Rights Trail. This is the neighborhood where Rosa Parks used to live. Residents complain they're getting very little notice. One homeowner says it happened to him despite state and federal court rulings in his favor. Listen to him. They came out and tore down the house anyway. They, had no, they, have, no, they have no regard for the rule of law. You know, they do what they want to do. Now, unlike a classic case of eminent domain where the government has to reimburse a property owner for any land that's seized for the public good, under the blight ordinance, the city can actually charge the homeowner for the cost of demolition, and then the city markets it to private developers. Critics call this eminent domain through the back door, Jenna. So the man that we just heard from, Jonathan, probably didn't get any money, even though his, his home got torn down? And it's entirely possible that he could end up with a bill for tearing down. Oh my that gosh! Home, now, yeah. Now, on, on the other side, city officials say that many of these homes here have been neglected and fallen into disrepair. They insist that by removing these blighted homes, that they're actually making the neighborhood more appealing for both visitors and residents. Listen to the mayor. And the actions that we're taking, I think, are speaking volumes about cleaning up our city and having a safe neighborhood so that we can raise our family and enjoy the fruits of our labor. But critics say this gentrification is coming at the expense of residents who tend to be largely poor and minority. Jenna? Wow, two sides to that story, Jonathan. Thank you so much for breaking it down for us today. Jonathan Sarah. Uh, John, I guess John Scott. Jonathan Sarah to John Scott.